you can see from the room behind me, I still have so much work to do. I'm trying to treat this a little bit like a Swedish death clean slash let's declutter it as if I was moving in six months or something like that. I would like to get a lot out. I think it's easier to do it in the summer months than it is in the winter. What is a little bit tricky is I do keep clothes of several sizes because I tend to fluctuate in weight. So in order to kind of minimize my fatigue, whenever I try on something that doesn't fit me but that I know I like the way it looks when I'm lighter, I just put it in the bin that I showed you guys in my last closet declutter video, which I'll link in the cards. There are so many declutter videos on this channel now. It's almost as if I've gone from beauty to just declutter. These are the items that I'm gonna bring to the donation bin today on my way to the grocery store. That is trash and all the products that I recently decluttered and this is recycling. It was raining and I brought my umbrella. I went heavy on the way and I went heavy on the way back. If you know, you know, you have to sweep the balcony when it's raining. That's what my mom always did. So that's what, oh my God, shut up. You have a small pain. We know. Like this is empty now. This will be in the trash. This is everything I got at the groceries. Um, got jalapeno and red cabbage with some corn to make a nice red coleslaw. I could not resist this when I went to Winners. There was a three pack for $12.99. Not like cheap, but not super expensive. They're 100% cotton. I have these old ugly Christmas ones. No. Aren't these pretty? Obviously I've got to wash them, but I just wanted to show. I have been thinking for the last while that I should bring the shelves down and pull out that nail polish collection that I'm procrastinating on. Just wanted to show you guys what's in the drawers now. There's my corsage from high school. I should probably actually throw that out. Beauty brush stuff and sunglasses. That's pretty much it for that. And then I decided to stuff all of my gift wrapping stuff in here just because the shape of the shelf was conducive of that and I very rarely go in here. So I figured that's good for like gifts, cards and stuff like that. But it's actually overflowing and I have more stuff. So I would like to consolidate everything to fit in here. That is a full box of nail polishes. These are nail polishes and so are these obviously. And there's another little bin back there. I think it is about time to consolidate that. And I have two empty baskets. So, hmm. Oh my God, I love it. Oh, I can't wait. This is so me. I wait until almost 11 o'clock at night to take out everything that is compost, trash, and recycling because the pressure's on. It's either I do it right now or tomorrow really early in the morning and I'm not down. Pretty happy with the way my fridge is looking right now after the clean out because it is organized and I have all my meals for the next couple of days. Next, I'm gonna clean out the freezer. I'm sorry I didn't film the before of the fridge, but it is what it is. Here is the after of the freezer. Most of the frozen fruit had to go because it was past its expiration date, except for these and these. I've got some yucca here, some of my own frozen banana there, which is fine too many ice packs. These are from when my mom was doing her cancer treatments and she needed them either to cool down in the night for hot sweats or for neuropathy. I probably only want to keep this one which goes in a lunchbox and these two are my favorites. They're the gel ones that kind of mold to the shape of wherever it is that you put them on. These are kind of just better for when you want to keep something cool in your bag. I'm not sure. I might just keep them all they're not doing any harm. It's not like I ever fill up my freezer, but one day, I don't know. And some beans I gotta use. That's it. I am also letting go of these empties. Normally I would keep them until the end of the year, but I just cleared out 80 products in my last beauty product declutter video, and these are full on empties. Yeah, I just, I can't do it anymore, guys. I need to clear out as much as I can. One of my last videos shows me going through the bottom half of this bookshelf, which houses all of my PR samples. I'm very happy with how that ended up. You can check out that video. It'll be linked in the cards if you're watching this on YouTube. Guys, this is real life, okay? I thought it would be really cute to start mopping at 9.30. Well, no, 10.30. I'll be honest, it's 10.30. I start to mop. I put on the AC because it's freaking hot. And then 
it tips over and I push the shelf over and I threw the towel well I threw the towels on the floor first there because my mind is like oh my god I'm gonna blister this bookshelf and I'm gonna screw myself over so I'm immediately trying to ensure that the bottom dries as quickly as possible I had to wash my towels anyway so I'm gonna be putting those in the wash right now Okay, y'all, I will be the first person to say that it annoys me to see all of this, but this is just going to work for me so much better because I was able to push the couch back. I mean, look, it's just, it's more workout space, essentially. As for the plenty area, I know it's kind of weird that the pictures are up above. I did buy a grow light, which is a rod that I just stuck on here, but I need to find a way to stick it here so that the plants receive light from above it is a holiday long weekend and i decided to go get another strip light and some command velcros ugh, can't speak velcro strips i figured you know what it'll work i just don't want to screw into my shelf nursery section will have more light i also have a new idea for this little section because it's kind of crazy I think I'm gonna put my desk back there and put the plants on top. Yeah, honestly. Oh my god. Okay, so it's here, but I'm moving stuff around. Um, for cable management, this is actually an old plant stand. So instead of making it planty, I'm mating, making it, I'm mating it techy. And I have officially all this plant space and filming space. Girl, we are gonna put a stool here. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not the best thing ever, but. It's good for now. This is the most satisfying thing, guys. Ready for that. So, so you want some? The light just sticks up top. I have to rearrange these a little bit. So let me know what you think. Because I moved that desk, mom's room is a little bit different now. It feels a little less crowded. There's still, don't get me wrong, a lot to declutter, but everything is consolidated against the walls. I changed up my little plant section here. I found that stand from downstairs, brought it up. And from this side, you can see just how much clothes needs to be sorted. Because of all the clothes, the humidity, and the temperature in this room, it was getting a bit musty, so I put in a bowl of vinegar and water with a ton of tea tree oil, and the room seems to smell a little bit more neutral. I ended up putting that little gray table in front here, using it as a pseudo coffee table. Do I love it? No, but it is practical. If you made it this far, you are a real one. Thank you so much. Leave a flower emoji in the comments down below because I wanna know who you are. Stay tuned because I will be posting even more declutters and rearranging videos because that's really what I'm very focused on right now. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.